Is the universe formed from nothing who created nothing? The origins of the universe have fascinated philosophers, scientists, and theologians alike for centuries. The concept of the universe forming from nothing is a bewildering paradox that challenges our understanding of existence itself. As graduate school students, we are called upon to engage in thought-provoking discussions, explore complex ideas, and critically analyze concepts. Thus, it is imperative to delve into the enigmatic question, if the universe formed from nothing, who created nothing? 1. The concept of nothing and its elusive nature. Before speculating about who or what created nothing, it is crucial to understand the concept itself. Nothing, by definition, refers to the absence or lack of anything. It is the negation of existence or the void where no objects, energy, or laws of nature exist. Trying to grasp the essence of nothingness challenges the limits of human comprehension. 2. Theoretical Physics and the Quantum Vacuum In the realm of theoretical physics, the concept of nothingness takes a different form through the notion of the quantum vacuum. The quantum vacuum is not a complete absence of everything but rather a state filled with transient particles and virtual fluctuations. This vacuum, endowed with inherent properties, could be a candidate for the origin of our universe. However, this still raises the question of how such a vacuum came into existence. 3. Causality and the infinite regress. If we consider the concept of causality, suggesting that every event or phenomenon has a cause, we encounter an inherent paradox when discussing the origin of nothing. If nothing created the universe, it would violate the principle of causality, as nothing should not have the capacity to cause anything. This conundrum leads us down the rabbit hole of an infinite regress, where each cause raises the question of its own origin. 4. Addressing the role of God and theological perspectives. From a theological perspective, the idea of a divine being, such as God, resolving the mystery of nothingness emerges. Many religious traditions posit the existence of an eternal, omnipotent entity as the ultimate source of creation. However, the question of who created nothing extends to the realm of theology as well, prompting discussions about the nature and origin of God. 5. Multiverse Theories and Eternal Cycles some cosmological and theoretical models, such as the multiverse theory or cyclical cosmologies, propose that our universe is part of a larger system or exists in a cyclic fashion. In these frameworks, the concept of nothingness is challenged, as the universe may have emerged from a previous state or within a cosmic ecosystem. These theories bring us closer to an understanding but still don't definitively answer the question of who created nothing. 6. The Limitations of Human Understanding As beings restricted by our own cognitive capacities, it is essential to acknowledge the limitations of human understanding. The question of who created nothing may lie beyond the realms of our comprehension. Our limited vantage point and cognitive biases might prevent us from grasping the true nature of nothingness. 7. The Paradox of Existence Contemplating the creation of nothing forces us to question the very nature of existence. The universe's origin and the concept of nothingness challenge our linear understanding of cause and effect, urging us to reassess foundational beliefs about our reality. 8. The mysteries worth embracing. While the question of who created nothing poses a paradox, it reminds us of the beauty in embracing mystery. The unfathomable nature of nothingness leaves room for curiosity, exploration, and the possibility of expanding our knowledge in the future. 9. The Implications for Further Research and Discussion Exploring the question of who created nothing propels us toward further research and discussion across various disciplines. It promotes interdisciplinary collaboration, urging scientists, philosophers, and theologians to engage in thoughtful conversations that challenge existing paradigms. In conclusion, the question of who created nothing remains an enigma that stirs the depths of human intellectual pursuits. As graduate school students, we must approach this profound inquiry with humility, 
acknowledging the limits of our comprehension while embracing the inherent mystery within it. Whether it be through scientific theories, theological perspectives, or theoretical explorations, the pursuit of understanding the origin of nothing will continue to shape our scholarly journeys and stimulate profound intellectual discourse for generations to come.